guys, it's Beverly. Um, I wanted to come on here and update you on a couple things and to show you my new hair color. Um, this is compliments <laughs> or um, it was mentioned by Cinnamon Stitches and I've always wanted to have my hair this way. This color, it's an amethyst. I'm going to close the light just a little from the glare. Hopefully you can see it. But hey, something different. Now, remember the loom blanket? <clears throat> Excuse me. What I did was I received some donated black yarns. There was probably four or to five skeins. And, um, and I decided to do it on an S loom to knit it on an S loom and I had found an S loom S <laughs> at a yard sale for five bucks and I the loom had over 200 uh, pegs on it so I uh, found a pattern that suggested for a 60 inch wide blanket or long uh, that you use 184 pegs. So I used 184 pegs of the S loom. And um, it came out close to 60, 37 by 60. Now, some of the edges that you can see are kind of curled. But I think that'll be fine. You may even notice that there's two different colors here in the black. It was all black yarn, but for some reason, some of it had faded or whatever. So you can see a definite line of color change. But I don't care. It just gives it some more interest. So um, it's not too heavy. It came out with a pretty good pattern. And it's soft and... I'm going to donate it either to the uh, chemo or dialysis place. And so it'll be a nice long blanket. It's over 60 inches long. So that's what happened with that. It took me three weeks, if I didn't say that, but it took me three weeks to do this. But I stuck with it, and uh, I'm sorry to say several it was a plastic loom and several of the pegs you know snapped off and what i had to do was like leave the broken peg the stitch on the broken peg and just kind of slowly keep using the broken peg as i went along but i was patient three weeks patient and now i produced a blanket uh, another thing i wanted to show you uh this is the ice cream yarn blanket that I'm making from uh, Lion Brand, and I can link the pattern below. And what this is, is I use a G hook, and I'm on my second skein of the ice cream, Lion Brand ice cream, Tutti Fruity is the color. And what you do is you chain 52, and of course you come in too. And so you have 50 stitches. It's all half double crochet. And it says to do the center part 30 and a half inches. Well, what I decided to do, since I have three skeins of it, I did 33 inches, which was one whole skein of the Lion Brand. And then I took the second skein, and it said to do seven inches here and I haven't measured this but anyway I just did it to this point so I could uh, start the other side and to keep it from puckering I was real careful about doing one stitch in each row and it seems to be like laying pretty flat so I'm on this other side, and I'm not, I am going to measure it, and I'm going to try to make both sides 
the same. Now the third skein that I have, uh, I'm going to do a, a baby sweater, I hope. And I believe the Tutti Frutti is still available. So if I run out of yarn with the sweater, um, I can finish the sweater. Uh, Billy the Crafty Floridian did a baby sweater, and I really liked it, uh, the pattern. It's kind of a challenge. You know, it has different stitches. It's not just all one stitch like this is. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, it calls for zero to three months. But I have another pattern that uses three-ply yarn with a G-hook that fits a 18 to 20 inch chest and I think that would get you from six months to 12 maybe so I'm going to modify the pattern a little bit that way but that's the plan so to finish the tutti fruity blanket and create a sweater to match now uh, the next project I'm working on this is I just started it yesterday after I got the black blanket done. This is the six day blanket that um, Ella from No Catchy Name was making. Hers was in red, black, and grays, and it's just absolutely beautiful. But again, we were donated several skeins of this white or off-white and um, this blue or teal and the lime green is part of a skein that I got on this big sale at Hobby Lobby. I don't have this the cake in front of me but it's a cake yarn and as I progress I'll tell you what kind of um, yarn it is but it's heavy it's Hobby Lobby, and it's a cake yarn. And I have two large cakes of it. So what you do with this is, Ella, I wanted to make it in four-ply. And I contacted Ella to find out how many chains she did. And she did 173 chains. Now, that's what I did. And it came out perfect when I finally got my act together and did this correctly. <laughs> Um, I had a lot of trouble with the first, the second row. The first row is a row of just single crochets. And then the second row is where you start your, doing your scallop, I'm going to call it, or I forget what you call it. But anyway, um, and of course I didn't read the pattern from the beginning, word for word, you know, I just started down on row one. And so I realized where I was making my mistake, and I did rip out this first, the second and third rows a couple times, but I finally got it. Um, this is a blanket I think that you'll pretty much have to pay attention to your pattern. Even though you're watching TV, you're going to have to pay attention to your pattern. And um, I measured this, I don't know if I said it, I think it's 54 inches wide. And then I, what I'll do is I'll just continue making it until I use up all the white or off-white yarn that was donated. So that's that pattern. Uh, the six-day kid blanket, that's what it's called. And I'll link it below. And socks. I want to do some socks. I'm going to loom knit socks. I've been looking at the tutorials with the knitting machines and of course I don't want to spend the large money for the Addy and some of the reviews and picture reviews that I saw they didn't they weren't positive so I thought I like to use the loom you use the 24 peg loom I'll show you um, my progress on that and that's what I'm doing so thank you guys so much for checking in. Have a great day. Like the video. Subscribe. Thank you to my new subscribers. And as, and as always, in the comments below, mention some things that you would like to see or tutorials that you would like. 
uh, if you're having prob problems with the pattern, uh, mention the pattern. And maybe I can do a couple rows with you or, you know, whatever you want to do. So let's make this your channel as well. And thank you guys so much. Bye.